Hey, this is Tyler with TJX Survival Survival Dispatch. I am at the Sophos Survival Store here in Spanish Fork. Yep. Keep thinking American Fork, wrong side of the valley. And we're going to talk to you about 72 hour kits, bug out kits, get home kits. So stick with me. My definition of a bug out bag is that thing that I use in Afghanistan. So if someone decided to shoot at me and just disable my vehicle, I could grab it. It had ammunition, medical, batteries, communication equipment, and, med and medical. I already said that twice. So it had what I needed to get me from here to there. And everyone's bug out bag really is a get home bag, because where are you bugging out to, right? When the trade towers went down, they bugged out home, right? So if you're in a place where you work in downtown New York, maybe you should throw socks, maybe you should throw running shoes, water, a coat if it's cold. Be realistic about what's the content of your bag. But if you just don't know where to start, he has a great bag. Tell me about your bag, tell me about how you come up with it and where it came from. All right, so the fact of the matter is that there is not, there's no one magic bug out bag or get home kit that will meet everybody's needs, okay? There's a lot of trash out there though. Yes, so <laughs> so the reason why I built this kit, put it together the way I did was because of all the garbage kits that are out there on the market. People come in all the time, they're like, hey, I need a 72 hour kit. Um, they wanna spend 59 bucks or 39 bucks because they saw one on Amazon and they want it to be able to magically help them survive a, a situation. It's full of band-aids. Yeah, <laughs> so, it's like, hey, you got a, a 90 or 100 plus item kit and it's mostly band-aids. Just band-aids so. and like crap in it. So. Yeah, so I put this together specifically because I hate it when my stuff doesn't work. I hate it when my stuff breaks. I hate it when, there's, when I don't have what I need. And so I put together my list, basically what I put in my kit and made it into a pre-assembled packaged kit that you can come in and buy, okay? Um, having said that, there's always things that you're gonna need that are not in this kit, and there may be a few things in this kit that you don't need. You tailor a kit to specifically to what cool you do. The cool thing is you can get this as a solid base kit. Yeah. Take out what you don't use, add what you need. When I used to be in the military, we would, we would load our ruck up, when I was a Ford Observer, we would go out for three or four days or a week, and then we would write on a little right in the rain book what I used, what I wish I had, and what I didn't need. So after we went out and did that exercise, I would say, well, I thought I need this, and every time I've taken it out, I've never used it, so I'd take it out of my bag. And then I would say, I got out there, and I really wanted baby wipes, something weird or licorice, right? Whatever that weird thing is that you just were like, man, I wish I had that in my kit, throw it in your kit, right? So. The problem I think too is that it's hard to be in a survival situation. So when I teach survival, I will tell people you need fire, which is food. So internal fire, clothing, shelter. You need water, which you all know what water is. You need shelter, which is gonna be the clothing that you wear, the clothing that you need to be warm at two o'clock in the morning and the clothing you'll need to walk home. And I say that because like, People have these 72 hour kits and I have to say, can, why can't you live in your house right now with what you have for the next 72 hours, right? Or what would you need to live in your car for the next 72 hours? Because that's really what they're using them for. And these things would help you live in that place for 72 hours. I think they should be 10 day kits personally, but also you need a way to go from your work location to a safe location or to go home or to go somewhere else. I really think that change of standard in a 72 hour kit is what you really need in the kit. This has that, I'm gonna stop, but that's kind of my, my idea. If, if there's something in here you don't need, take it out. Add one thing, but this is a great standard. If there's something that you want, throw it in because in this environment, we're gonna need, like right now it's pretty warm, right? We're going into the summer. You don't need a coat in this thing, right? Later on in the summer. During the winter, that's probably the most important item is a coat or, or clothing. So. Make them seasonally appropriate, have the ability to expand and shrink, and you know, take this with a grain of salt and a little bit of flexibility. So this kit is highly customizable as well, and I, that's one of my favorite things about having the store here is that people call in all the time and say, hey, I want the Tim Pro kit, but I, I don't need that bag. I, I've got my own bag and I just want all the stuff. Or hey, I've already got my, my flashlight, I've got lighting and communication and stuff all dialed in. 
you can take those things out. And, or you can say, hey, I need extra of those. I want to take this kit and I want to add an extra, enough stuff for the extra person. Family or right? kids or something. Yeah. And so we can customize it, do anything. You can also come in and just grab whatever it is you want. You can go on the website and you can say, hey, I want this, 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 this. Um, you touched on it a minute ago, Tyler, about all the different categories. So I actually, each, each It's like a build a bag kit. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I said. <laughs> so all of the items on in here are in this list. This is a very overly comprehensive list. You don't need everything on here, but it's a good place to go and make sure you hit all the, the essential categories. And so I, I haven't seen this before, so I'm gonna go over it. Water and filtration, he's got water bottles, water filter, extra water storage containers, iodine and bleach. I like it. Food, fuel and cooking options, shelter and bedding options, first aid options. I like that he kind of covered the majors, fire, water, shelter, food, communication, and the ability to replenish it. That's kind of my mantra on that stuff. But he kind of goes down the list and says, all right, to meet these needed problems, here are the solutions, and then gives you options. Another thing that's really important with the kit is practicing with what's in it. I will, someone will come in and buy one of these fully assembled kits. It's got all these nice, nice, neat, pretty packaged stuff. But then I will tell them, go out and use this. Take it out and take it out this weekend. Don't put yourself in Go a real survival situation. Two or three days with it. Yeah. yeah, take it out and actually use it. Of course, you're going to like open some of this stuff up and use it, and that's really easy to replenish. But the key is that you will know exactly what's in there, where it is in your pack, how to use it, and, and if maybe there's you something want more in there, water than what's in there. Yeah. Or maybe you want a different filter because here's a, here's another thing. You know, there's some things that I have figured out the hard way from going out in the backcountry and breaking stuff. One thing I figured out years and years ago is a lot of water filters don't work when it freezes. A lot of people don't think about that because they don't take a water filter out, cut a hole in the ice and try to slurp water and then go and grab their filter the next morning and go, oh gee, I left water in the hose and it broke. Yeah. So I like to boil, right? I don't need that in the summertime, but in the wintertime, if I got a pot that I can boil or melt ice or snow with, that's really valuable. So I also will need more ways to start fire. I might throw a jet boil in the pack like this. You know, a couple of uh, propane cans, and if I'm a really high altitude, that propane's not gonna work very well. So maybe I'll put a boiling pot of some sort and a couple of lighters in there and just burn the pine trees that are up there. Yeah. But that's very area and uh, seasonal specific. That is essential. Like, this is such vital uh, info that you get from experience like that because you don't want, when, when you are when you need to actually use this kit, you don't want to be thinking, okay, now what's in the kit? What, uh, how do I use that again? You need to know exactly how all this stuff works and then have experience with it because there, you, you want to be focusing on the situation at hand, what you're doing. You, you don't need to worry about stuff. Worried about how do I feed myself? And what am I going to do when it gets cold? If you've already done this stuff, you just say, oh, I just do this. That's what I did last time. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. So. I think this is a great base kit. I think it's got a lot of solid items. I, looking over it, see fire, water, shelter. Where's my food? Food, right? So I see the basics in there. The only thing, like I said, me personally, I would throw a pot in there. I like the jet boil. That's also a really expensive additive. Maybe if someone's using this for a car, I don't really see that too much as a, of a need because I'm going to leave a sleeping bag in the car. But you know, tailor it, make it to what you want. What I don't see is eight pounds of band-aids. I like that, <laughs> okay? I don't see a bunch of trash that's not valuable. I do see high carbohydrates. I do see pre-set up water. I do see the ability to gain more water. So I know that I can take a kid out like this and make a lot of the stuff that I need in addition to have the ability to purify and live off the land a little bit. And that just extends your duration of time before you have to get rescued because you've got your kid. Cool. Hopefully this is valuable to you. If you guys have suggestions of what should be in this kit, leave it in the comment section. And if you have questions about anything, let us know. Thanks for watching.